Welcome back to New Rockstars, I'm Eric Voss, and Iron Man was a genius who took all kinds of secrets to the grave with him. Secrets that are now being revealed from a new Marvel in-universe book, The Wakanda Files, in which Shuri journals a ton of tech-related details from the Infinity Saga, including Tony Stark's private notes. A reminder to all of us before you head into a fight with Thanos, clear that search history. But there is an easy-to-miss detail from this book when it comes to Tony Stark's relationship with the Infinity Stones that I think answers a huge question that was never really explained. An answer that I believe sheds light not only on Tony Stark's actions in Endgame, Infinity War, and Age of Ultron, but his possible foresight of an even more chaotic shitstorm ahead in WandaVision. Okay, so the Iron Man moment that has always stood out to me and to many of you based on how often I get asked about this was Stark's confrontation with Thanos in Infinity War. Stark, you know me? I do. You're not the only one cursed with knowledge. My only curse is you. This little exchange blew so many minds. <laughs> How did Thanos know who Stark was? And what did he mean by cursed with knowledge? Well, the filmmakers did shed some light on this in the director's commentary. Joe Russo explained that Thanos knew Stark from the Battle of New York as the Avenger who threw a nuke at his fleet through the wormhole. Russo went on to describe a sort of existential connection between Thanos and Tony. Hmm. Screenwriter Christopher Marcus added that there's a parallel between Thanos and Tony in that they're both aware of something from an early point and constantly having to deal with being smarter. Thanos is a futurist as much as Tony Stark. So that has been our best explanation for what Thanos meant by cursed with knowledge. Thanos sees a common futurist mindset between the two of them, a mindset that drives both of them into obsessive insanity. But in this explanation, what do they mean by existential connection? And what do they mean by an early point? What do they mean by each of those spaces between the words? Well now, this Wakanda Files book just gave an even deeper insight into that insanity and a very specific answer to what cursed by knowledge could really mean. See, one section includes Stark's notes from Age of Ultron, in which he described using the Mind Stone to create a supercharged Jarvis, aka Vision. And then Tony writes something interesting. He says, hold up, I'm really burying the lead here. Thor mentions six Infinity Stones at the center of a whirlpool that was the destruction of Earth, and one of them is apparently bedazzling the forehead of Vision. Can we talk about that for a second? Infinity Stones! So yeah, Tony's referring to Thor's weird bath in Age of Ultron, in which the God of Thunder foresaw the Infinity Stones. So this means Tony already he knew about the Infinity Stones from Thor, meaning that when Strange and Wong lectured him about the stone history three years later, it wasn't really new information to him. By the dawn of the universe, there was nothing. Then, boom! Big banks and six elemental crystals hurtling across the virgin universe. These Infinity Stones each control an essential aspect of existence. Tell me his name again. Yeah, no shit, Tony was like, yep, 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 about these rainbow bath rocks Thor already told me about. Tell me more about that thick boy who wants them. And we now know that the curse Tony shares with that thick boy wasn't just a general futurist perspective, but a specific mental disorder that stemmed from the same source, which Tony brings up twice in this new book passage, The Mind Stone. Look, being left in mystery can be a good thing. For example, not knowing for sure whether someone's carrying the most discreet front pocket wallet the Ridge! And thanks to The Ridge for sponsoring this episode. So The Ridge helps you carry what you need every day, from their flagship Ridge wallet to their portable charging commuter backpack. They want to make the most out of what you're bringing with you. The Ridge wallet is made out of military-grade materials like titanium or carbon fiber. It has a clean, stylish design, and it's chainsaw proof. So you can go ahead and pick that fight with a local lumberjack. Your cash and cards will be safe. This is their matte cobalt wallet. They have other colors, including some very flashy tiki designs. It's light, it's strong, and it's blue, the color of her eyes. They make it easy to buy with free shipping and free returns and a lifetime guarantee. And it's got 30,000 five-star reviews, so you know they're doing something right. They also have great backpacks and travel bags with RFID blocking pockets and optional device charging batteries. Get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash newrockstars. That's ridge.com slash newrockstars and use the code newrockstars Find the link in the video's description. So why is the Mind Stone so important to Tony and Thanos being cursed by knowledge? Well, we learned in Age of Ultron that the Mind Stone carries a sort of cosmic intelligence. You have to guess, what's it look like? It's like doing? it's thinking. I mean, this could be, it's, it's not a human mind. Man. Mm -mm. I mean, look at this. They're like neurons firing. And in Infinity War, Vision again describes this Mind Stone divine AI. Fizz? Is it the stone again? 
It's as if it's speaking to me. What does it say? I don't, I don't know, but something. Hi. Vision and Wanda were on the run here, and Tony said Vision turned off his transponder two weeks prior, presumably right when these Mind Stone migraines began. But Tony dropped something interesting about Vision when he reports that to Banner. Tony, you lost another super bot? I didn't lose him, he's more than that, he's evolving evolving. Yeah, Tony was very aware of exactly what the Mind Stone was doing to Vision. And these Wakanda files bring up the Mind Stone twice. It was very much on Tony's mind. Because if you think about it, Tony's whole futurist knowledge curse began with the Mind Stone. The moment he grabbed Loki's scepter in Sokovia, and the moment Scarlet Witch cursed his mind with that apocalyptic nightmare. Wanda's sorcery was activated by the Mind Stone. Something that another passage in these Wakanda files made very clear. So Stark's curse came directly from that dark wisdom contained within that yellow stone. And here's where Tony's parallelism with Thanos is so important, because Thanos also had early possession of that mind stone, and no one ever talks about it. Thanos sent Loki to Earth for the space stone, and to do that, Thanos gave Loki the scepter, which is powered with the mind stone. That means Thanos had the mind stone before the others. That makes it fittingly ironic that the last of the six stones he gathers in Infinity War War is that same Mind Stone, the final piece of Thanos' puzzle allowing him to link his mind with all the other beings in the universe. In the same way Tony Stark was haunted by whispers from the Mind Stone to see a future apocalypse that he somehow survives to become a farmer, a future that he can later fix by giving his life, the same is true for Thanos, who also once held the Mind Stone, survives an apocalypse, becomes a farmer, and fixes his desired future by giving his life. That is exactly why when 20 14 Thanos sees that sacrifice in the future, he isn't all that surprised. And that is destiny fulfilled. Isn't it interesting how of all the Infinity Stones, the one that is coming back immediately in Marvel's first Phase 4 story is the Mind Stone, still bedazzling Vision's forehead in WandaVision. Could it be that Tony Stark and Thanos' curse didn't just foretell the doom the Mind Stone would wreak alongside the other five stones in Infinity War and Endgame, but the even worse madness this stone isolated could unleash when the witch it birthed under the influence of demonic entities, uses it to shred the universe into pieces, exactly what Thanos promised he would do. I will shred this universe down to its last atom. The two futurists weren't just cursed with a vision of doom in Endgame, they were cursed with a vision of Wanda in WandaVision, shattering the universe into a multiverse of madness, something that the Mind Stone could enable her to do within that pocket reality. Wanda even nearly usurps Thanos as the universe his most powerful being when they fight. You took everything from me. I don't even know who you are. You will. A pretty prophetic assurance that matches a similar tone given by Tony moments earlier. You'll see. Tony Stark was cursed with knowledge, knowledge given to him by the Mind Stone, the same stone that also inspired a younger Thanos, putting both of these futurists on a collision course that neither of them will survive, but one thing will survive, the Mind Stone and the curse lives on. Oh, and uh, by the way, I am wearing the latest Obsession shirt from our new official merch store, which you can now get, along with a bunch of other great designs like a Hi, I'm Eric Gloss shirt at NewRockStarsMerch.com. Check that out. Also, be sure to subscribe to New Rockstars here on YouTube. Hit that notification bell. Follow me on Instagram at EA Voss. Follow New Rockstars. Thanks for watching, and Wong, take us out. Boom.